Hello and welcome back to Core Life. Today we're going to be having a look at an RTA from Watofo. This is the Bravo, and it's a 25 mil diameter RTA. It does come with a bubble glass. I just have the standard glass here on it at the moment, and it comes with this gorgeous drip tip. Can you see that there? Now I have the gunmetal one, and I have it sitting on the iJoy Genie in gunmetal, all matchy matchy. Looks pretty swish on there. It's a cloudy RTA. It is great flavour as well out of this. So let's dive down and get to know this little guy a little bit better and then we'll pop back up and I'll let you guys know what I think. Okay so here we are with the Bravo RTA from Watofo and the box that it comes in. You can see here that we have our the colour of the device itself, our scratch and check on there, on the bottom what the kit contains. Then if we have a look inside the box we do get our tank here we also get some spare glass we have the bubble glass and your standard glass now with the standard glass the capacity is four and a half mil and then with the bubble glass it increases up to six mil now obviously as it comes at the moment with this silicon bung in there it's a two mil capacity but all we have to do to take that out is unscrew the bottom pop out this glass and then that silicon bit will just pop out like that. Pop your glass back on, screw your tank back together, and just like that, then you've got a four and a half mil tank. Now, what I do like about this tank is the knurling. Knurling on here is is nice. It's not too pronounced that it's going to be uncomfortable, but it is just right. With the tank itself, it is a 25mm diameter tank. You've got your 810 drip tip on the top. It also comes with a 510 drip tip adapter in the box. Also underneath here, we do get our user manual. Quite a good little guide there in various different languages. You also get your usual Watofo giveaway card and your three little baggies that we're well used to getting with all our Watofo products. So you got your spare o-rings, some cotton and some coils and then in this one we do get a screwdriver, a Phillips head screwdriver. Um, so having a look then around the tank we do have a nice Bravo logo etched on the chimney in there do have Bravo on the bottom with Tofo, with Tofo.com. Our airflow does stop fully open, fully closed. And having a look then at the deck. Now, as we see, our airflow will come up through these channels here. So, then with the build deck itself, we can see that we do have a clamp style system going on here. Uh, if we just loosen down these screws a bit you'll see how the post the base of the post comes down and the leads will go in here and then your cotton will sit down these little channels here and then there's no juice flow control on this tank so as you see when you screw that back up in there your juice is going to sit down in there so what we'll do is we'll get some coils in here okay so there we have our coils all seated nicely the way we, we want them in there and as you can see as well if you look at that airflow the way it's kind of angled on the coils there like that so all we have to do is get these all glowing nice and evenly 
few little hot spots in there. We're going to have to get rid of those. There we go. It's just about right. Okay, so now it's time to get some cotton fed through in here, just like that. Another bit for the other coil. There we go. And then just time to trim that off and just how I tend to do it is just to kind of judge it to the end of the deck just about that much same there and then if we spin that around do the same on this side just about there just about there perfect and then what we'll do is we'll just get our needle nose tweezers and just comb out the ends of that okay so there you can see that I have my cotton all nice and tucked into these little channels here now I know uh, some people do recommend that you just have it sitting just on top of the little wicking holes but uh, I have it sitting right down at the base of the deck uh, what I tend to do is just to make sure that I can pop the tip of my tweezers down into those holes just like that and there's no restriction there that's how I know that it's gonna wick efficiently and that's pretty much it okay so let's get some juice on here now just to start this off that'll do get my tank then and get that screw it down just like that unscrew the top you can see that's where we have our filling ports just there like that just make sure that's down tight get my juice and then we can just fill her up there we go top cap back on and let's go and have a little vape on this Okay guys, so that was the up close and personal with the Bravo RTA from Watofo. And I have to say now, I have been enjoying this immensely since I've had it. Great flavour out of this thing. Easy to build on. You've got Watofo's unique little twist on the clamp style post on this one. Wicking as well as you saw on the up close, it's a doddle. It really is. There's no juice flow control, but to be fair, you don't really need it. And the fact that it comes with the bubble glass is a big, big plus. And this drip tip, the drip tip on this is absolutely beautiful. Um, and you do get the 510 drip tip adapter should you so wish to use so as well. Uh, the styling of the tank, you've got the, the knurling going on the top and on the airflow control ring but you also have it on the inside there you've just got the, the etching it just goes in with the design on the tank really really nicely um, it, all in all it, it looks great, it vapes great um, from Watofo good affordable products quality stuff I picked this one up, I think I only paid about £28 for it in the UK As always, links will be in the description below. Um, if you want to pick one of these guys up, uh, I'd highly recommend it. Um, 
but that's all I've got time for on this one it's starting to get a bit cloudy in here I have to uh, open a window so I will catch you guys again soon thanks so much for watching